For more than three decades, the Hubble telescope, one of the largest and most powerful telescopes in the world, has been looking 10 billion light years into deep space to answer our biggest questions and inspire more exploration. And now we're about to get an even better look on Christmas Eve. NASA plans to launch the James Webb Space Telescope into orbit, the first step in a million-mile journey that could literally give us a look at the very beginning of time. NBC's Jake Ward has more in our Sunday Spotlight. For more than three decades, the Hubble Telescope has been beaming back mind-blowing images from some of the furthest reaches of space. Incredible insight into our very place in the universe. Now, its successor, the James Webb Telescope, will build on that exploration with 100 times the reach, possibly back to the very beginning. The Webb Telescope has already traveled nearly 6,000 miles by truck and boat from California, through the Panama Canal, to its launch pad in Guyana. Now, the most expensive spacecraft in human history just has about a million miles to go. When we saw it, it was folded up and ready for shipping. What will that thing look like when it unfolds in space? Well, here it is. This part alone is 21 feet across. The largest component is a five-layer sun shield, each sheet the thickness of a human hair to protect it against the sun. Between the hot side, so the side, look on the bottom, that's right. where the satellite is, that sits at about plus 185 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold side sits at about minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. In orbit, it will unfold itself, deploy its antenna, and then launch away from us and our sun until it's roughly a million miles from Earth. There, with its back to Earth, it will scan the universe in one huge yearly circle. Hubble was built to see light the way you and I do. But the James Webb Telescope can also see infrared light, heat, basically, that our eyes can't detect. So by looking at the infrared, we'll be able to look at that light coming from the very beginnings of the universe back to 13 point something billion years ago. The, the afterglow of yes. the formation of the right. universe. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try to explain that part. When the sun warms my face, like it's doing right now, that light is actually about eight minutes old. That's because it takes that long for light to travel from our nearest star here to us. But when I look at light from other stars, what I'm looking at is light that has traveled sometimes thousands of years. Scientists from around the world are already lining up to use Webb's data, and with good reason. We know, for instance, that there are exoplanets out there, worlds that are the right size and close enough to their stars that they might have life on them. But scientists have never been able to truly see what they look like until Webb. We're going to look and, and start checking, yeah, what's the temperature? Is it like Earth? Is there water in the atmosphere? How much is the content of it like Earth in any way? Webb is so powerful, we'll be able to see whether distant planets have the stuff of life on them, or whether life might be possible in other environments entirely. An awe-inspiring mission. From our fragile place on this tiny planet, sending our species' most complicated scientific instrument to see how not just life, but the universe itself began. For Sunday Today, Jake Ward, Planet Earth. Our thanks to Jake for that one. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.